Hey guys, it's Nadia from Leah Dia Designs and I'm back with another flower testing video. So today what we're going to be testing is actually something that's been asked a few times by a bunch of my followers where they want to know if the pigmented resin that I'm adding to these flowers, if it's been made with the same batch of resin as what I'm pouring into the coasters right now, or if it's a new batch of resin that I make later on, closer to the time when I actually have to add the pigments to the, um, the coasters once they've been sitting for a while. So up until this point, um, all the videos I've done so far with the flowers um, for these tests, I've uh, used one batch of resin. So I've mixed all the resin at the same time and I add my pigments to some of the resin that I put aside and then those sit for the same amount of time as the, the resin that's inside the molds. Um, but for today's video, what I want to do is I actually want to test both options. So the left two coasters are going to be using resin that I have mixed at the same time as what's the resin that's being poured into these molds. And then on the right hand side, we're going to be mixing up a new batch of resin around the time that we need to add the designs to the coasters. So this way we can kind of see if there is any difference in terms of how the flowers turn out based upon uh, fresher resin versus resin that's been sitting for the same amount of time as what is in the coaster molds. So um, the process up until that point is going to be exactly the same as we've done in the other videos. So we're just going to have our thin layer of resin poured into the bottom of each of these molds and we'll get those bubbles out. We'll add our glitter, then we'll add, uh, we'll fill up the molds with the rest of our clear resin. Uh, we'll add our rose gold foil centers and then we'll let it sit for, uh, in this case, 25 minutes. So we'll run into a time lapse here so that we can kind of get that process all done. If you guys want to have a more detailed description of this process. Um, I do have two other previous videos. Both of them are called flower tests, but one is part one and one is part two. And it goes into more detail in terms of quantities and things like that. So I will um, link that so that you guys can see it but, um, here as a card and as well at the end of the video, um, it'll be linked as well. So in any case, let's run into the timelines and we'll see you on the other side. So it has been 25 minutes and what you'll see on the left hand side is the pigments again that have been sitting for the same amount of time, so 25 minutes. And on the right hand side is pigment that I have just mixed uh, only a couple minutes ago. So they've only been sitting for a couple of minutes. So we're going to just do two designs that we've used in the previous videos where uh, one's a swirl and one's kind of a flowery scallop. And we're going to go ahead and quickly work here. The uh, sitting time has been 25 minutes so the, the resin is definitely thickening and the resin inside the little pouches are starting to get warm so we want to move quickly so that uh, the resin doesn't seize up on us here so and again going ahead and adding in some details with the paintbrush 
and we'll do the same with the bottom one as well and then we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing with the resin on the right uh, the pigmented resin on the right so um, and you'll notice that it is much thinner how much it was actually uh, for the purple how much it was actually coming out of the bag um, it was just very thin it hadn't thickened up at all so it was just literally um, watery and coming out of the bag so we're going to work quickly again here and i'm not really sure what's going to happen just because um does it matter that this is thinner because the the resin that's in the mold is already so thick um so we'll see if it has an impact or not so we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll leave it overnight and see where we end up in the morning. So it's the next morning and uh, let's just take a quick look at what we have here. So it does look like the ones on the right that had the fresher resin have actually spread a bit more than the ones on the left. So we're going to go ahead and unmold this one here and take a look to see what it looks like on the front side. And there's a little something on there. Um, so yeah, so we're going to just <laughs> take a little peek here. And there we go. So yeah, so it, that def definitely looks like it is has spread quite a bit and there has been some drops in terms of the resin falling down to the bottom of the mold. And uh, we'll come on and compare that actually to the one that of the same style that um, was actually with the resin that was made at the same time. So let's just take a look at that and actually it looks pretty similar the petals are a little bit more defined a little bit less feathery than um, the fresh batch of resin um, coasters so they're very similar though i guess it really would depend on uh, your preference and style um, so both of those actually turned out really nice and let's do the same thing now with this one here and again, this one does look like it has a bit of feathering. It's spread quite a bit, and um, but it's still very pretty. So um, yeah, definitely could work with that. And let's compare that to the one where it had the resin that had been sitting. And yeah, so this one you can tell the lines are uh, quite a bit more defined. The petals are a bit more defined. The, there's not a, as much feathering. There's some spreading, but definitely not as much feathering in terms of that look like it just looks like it's spread a little bit so the petals are more defined but really both of these turned out really pretty so you can see a little closer here but the difference in the especially in the gold you can see it how the gold feathered so um yeah so i think both of these could work and again i uh, left these for 25 minutes so um that's probably the timing that uh, would work for both of these options. I do want to show you another one, set that, that I did and the timing on these ones was actually about 20 minutes or just around that 20 minute mark and you'll see there actually was a more significant difference in terms of the petals. So you'll see the left was more defined and on the right there was a lot more drops and it was a lot less defined. Um, there's a little bit of feathering in terms of the how it's spread at the back. You can see especially along the outer edge petals, but definitely the drops uh, definitely change the look here. So anyways, oh, and before I go, I wanted to also show you this mold. It is a new mold I've got from Shop Resin Molds, and I'll link them in the description. The um, This is such a, a, a beautiful mold. I love it so much. So I actually just took all the leftover resin I had in those little pouches and I poured them, I mixed them together and I poured them into this mold and they just, it's so pretty how, what color it turned out from mixing those three colors. So I love it, it's awesome and uh, it's one of my new favorite molds for sure. So I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please leave me a comment. Which of these coasters do you like better? Let me know and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much guys, take care. Talk to you later, bye.